Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be doing a one season rebuild using the updated database of the most successful Belgian club ever. That's right everyone, we're going to be doing a one season rebuild of Belgian club and elect to see if we can get them back to the top of Belgian football. Now without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, as I say everyone, Anderlecht are the most successful Belgian club ever with 64 competition wins. This includes two European Cups, which they won in 76 and 78. But I'm here to do a one-year rebuild, as they have been struggling recently. They've not won the league now since 2016-17, when they picked up the 34th league title. Since then... Club Bruges, Genk have won it, and last season Antwerp won the league title, so it's not going to be an easy job to get Anderlecht back to the top. Now the board are expecting me to finish in the top three of the league and challenge for the Crokey Cup. The supporters on the other hand, they are expecting me to win the league, so let's hope we can do that for them in this one season. I've got to turn things around. If we take a look at the finances, I have now got about 5.6 million. That's because I've sold some clauses, like the one for Julian Drorenville from Borussia Dortmund. That's bolstered it. I only had about 2 million to start with, but I've managed to wiggle some extra for the clauses. I've got about 30,000 to play with in the wage budget. So let's see who we can bring in to strengthen the squad. If we take a look at the squad, there is some talented players in the squad already I can work with. Kasper Dahlberg being the main one. Striker, brought in from Nice over the summer for around about 5 million euros. He's going to be one I can work with in this rebuild. They do of course have Jan Vertonghen, ex-Tottenham Hotspur central defender. He's a great player, gain on, bit old, but he'll do me for this one year rebuild. A couple of players that they've already sold this summer, Christopher Olsen, he's gone to Mitchellland in Denmark, so I'll miss him, he'd have been an handy player to have around, but they have sold him in real life. Another one who's gone out the door this summer, you'll probably have heard about it, Bart Verbruggen, goalkeeper, Gone to Brighton in a big money move. If one of the Premier League teams comes in for your player, you're going to struggle keep him. He's gone. We'll have to work without him. Now let's get into the transfers I've brought in. So the first player I managed to bring in, Juan Escobar, comes in from the Mexican League. Cost me 75000 so a bargain. He can play right back or centre back. And he'll be in me starting 11. The next player I managed to bring in, Konstantinos Lifis. Played at Standard Leeds last season, so he knows the league. Free transfer as well, even better. He's already valued at 10 million, so I got him on a right good deal. He'll play centre back for me. Now, this one, the most expensive one I've brought in. Only 500,000 though. Taboho Mokoweni. Comes in from South African side, Mamelodi Sundowns. I know him from a South African save I've done. He'll play in the centre of midfield for me. Now this one's just a squad filler. Suk Yun Jun, South Korean player. Plays up front or just behind the striker. He was a free transfer. He'll just fill in if I get any injuries. The left back I've managed to bring in, Kemar Lawrence, comes in from the United States. He's a Jamaican international. Free transfer again. 30 years old, but he automatically goes in as my best left back at the club. So he'll be starting most games, I'd imagine. And the final transfer I've managed to do, Ebi Gomez. Comes in from Spain on a free transfer again. Left or right attacking midfielder. So he can play in a number of positions. He'll fill in when I do get injuries. So that's all the transfer business I've managed to do. 
We were a bit light in the squad anyway. I didn't let anyone else go. I've just built on it to improve on what we already had. If I quick pick the squad, this is what I've got. Duping goal. Escobar, the new man at right back. Leifis and Vertonghen in the middle. Lawrence will be left back. Mbodge in there, if I've said it right. Sitting in DM. Mokoena will be in the middle. With the Awari. Dreya and Roman will be on the left and right. With Kasper Dolberg starting up top. I've got good options on the bench as well. But I think that is my best starting eleven. So let's simulate the season and see if we can win that league title. So everyone, that's it. The season's over. The one-year rebuild's over. And it has been a massive success. We are Belgian champions. It's coming back to Anderlecht. Looking at the Crokey Cup, we were knocked out in the sixth round by Patro Eisden. Hopefully I've pronounced that one right. But it doesn't matter. We've won the league. That's the one we wanted to win back. The 35th title is coming back to Anderlecht. Now if we look at the team stats, we were fifth in the league for most goals with 53. But this is what won us the league. We conceded only 22 goals in 40 matches. I did strengthen the back line. They were my main signings. They seem to have worked. And that's what's brought us that league title. Kasper Dolberg, he got 22 goals. Second high scorer in the league. So a brilliant first season in Belgium for him. My new man Mokoweni. He was in the top assists in the league, in 5th place with 9 assists, so he's done brilliantly in his first season in Belgium. And the Jamaican international I brought in, the left back from America, Kimar Lawrence, he got the most dribbles in the league with 158, absolutely brilliant from left back from him. And a goalkeeper, Maxime Dupe. With the most clean sheets, with 22 across the season, we actually got 24 as a team. That's what won us the league. We were solid at the back. Now let's talk about how the league season panned out. It's funny how the league works in Belgium. If you don't know, you play 30 games. The league then splits into three. You have a championship group, a middle group that fights for one European place. And then four clubs battle it out for the relegation places. This is how the league looked before it split after 30 games. We were second in the league with 58 points. Four points behind standard Liege. The league then split. You play the next 10 games against the teams that are around you. We won eight of them games. Drawing only two. That's what secured the title. And in the end, we won the league by a huge 12 points. When we went into that final group, I did drop the mentality down to balance from positive just to set us back a little bit against the more dangerous teams. And it did seem to work. We didn't lose. We won eight and drew only two games. Now, if we take a look at the game that won us the title against Gank, Dolberg opened the scoring. The home side then equalised just before half-time. We'd have taken a point then. That would have probably done us. However, 91 minutes on the clock. Dolberg taps it in. That's the one that won us the league title. So everybody, that's the end of the video, the end of the season rebuild. I've achieved what I set out to do. And elect to the Belgian champions once again for the first time since 2016-17. The 35th title is going back to Brussels. I hope you have enjoyed watching this rebuild. If you have, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, Please let me know in the comments if there's any clubs you want to see me do a rebuild on. Any club in the world, I'll give it a bash. While you're waiting for the next video, watch the Stoke City rebuild I did with the Championship Club. 
It's a very interesting one. That'll be on the screen round about now. Until next time, goodbye from me.